All right, and we are back. We are fully awake, and we have. Well, I am back, and I am fully awake, and I am ready to get this story going. We now start with Velvet's story, which Velvet is probably one of the popular, probably the most popular character of this game because, for obvious reasons. So we're gonna so we're gonna get started with Velvet's story, which basically she's gonna Cornelius. fill in the last bit of gaps. <laughs> he squeezed my hand so tightly. Which I guess it starts Forgive with me. this. I cannot help but keep you close. But soon I must depart. My father awaits. Can you meet me here again? I shall be waiting. Your promise gives me strength. Tis but a temporary separation. <laughs> I do not approve. Ingwei! How dare you! How long have you been there? The whole time. Must I turn him into a frog to make you give him up? Wake up, Velvet. He is a prince. We are but vagabonds. Your love amounts to nothing. Really? <laughs> you need not be jealous, Ingwe. King Valentine's blood runs through you both. You are the last living heirs. You shall restore the throne. Silence. Skaldi, go tell Urza that I shall be successful in my plans. I. Oh, did. So he plans to. This is where he plans to get rid of Cornelius. King, eh? So they want us bastards conceived in treachery, linked to our grandfather's bloody throne? I think not. Please don't talk about our mother that way. Velvet. It would seem you have forgotten about the curse she set on us. Okay, what exactly did I Mom have not do? Forgotten. No, you have. Now read this once again. Really? Read the prophecy our mother wrote. Tis written clearly. An unavoidable curse and death shall be unleashed upon us both. Our mother, who could see the future, wished death upon us. Wow. We abandoned our mother first. Twas inevitable she would curse us. Had we not abandoned her, that crazed king would have executed us as well. I would have preferred that. At least we would not have to suffer under a curse cast by our own mother! Dang. That doesn't mean that the curse she has predicted will come true. Oh, can you see the future now, like mother in Hindel? <laughs> I'm sorry, Velvet. I... Spoke too strongly. Let us go. Hold on to this. He's like, wow, that is pretty, that is pretty dark. My dear children, eventually an inevitable curse. Curse and death shall be thrown upon the two of you. Mother. But maybe Ingwe's taking this the wrong way. My dear children, eventually an inevitable curse and death shall be thrown upon the two of you. The cauldron guides the way to Armageddon with its final stone. Alright, now we're going to learn how to play as... Velvet. Ha! 
Oh, wow. Okay. Oh wow, and she can jump for like ever. Well, three times. Two. Okay, so her moves do make some sense. So basically, well, this might actually be fun because she can move around everywhere. Oh, so we get to talk Why to Hindle before he dies. You possess the gift of foresight. I seek an answer from you. Unfortunately, I cannot assist you. Why? When I speak, fairies and humans misinterpret my words and lose their perspectives. I have stopped gazing into the future. I am of King Valentine's bloodline. I had heard that you were close to the royal family. Sheep are close to humans as food, not friends. So too are dragons. We have never been friends of man. Dang. <laughs> wow. I see. So you are Velvet. I have had visions of your arrival. I guess this is the time. If you knew I was coming, then you know why I am here. As your mother said, a curse and death surround your own demise. Tis nothing to fear. Really? No life can escape death. Uh, uh, that's not exactly what we want to hear. When life ends, a world is sealed. If you know my fate, you know that it is pointless to discuss my death. Yes, that is correct. Please tell me what the future holds. Everything hath already been written in the prophecies. I have nothing more to add. The path to take will be indicated by your mentor. Wait, what? Who's the... My mentor? Huh? Death cannot be avoided, but fate can be redirected. Are you suggesting destiny can be changed? I exist for guidance. Though I be not rewarded, I must serve my purpose. Okay, now it really sucks that you died. The Shadow Knight from the Fairy Kingdom takes my life. Oh. Deny fate if you wish. That is your duty in your demise. Mm. You shall visit here once more. At that time, my friend shall attend to you. He's not friendly. <laughs> We've met him like five different times. No, please go. My own end draws near. This is Even so sad. Before their execution, are allowed time for a prayer. Please do not interfere with my slumber. Oh, th this is so sad. Wow. Dang, they got me. Honestly, I'd probably be a bit more. Well, my thoughts probably be different if he was an actual boss fight. But still, I feel bad. It's like, this is the only other time that you get to see this dude. Oh well. So, that was her prologue, which is obvious that Velvet's supposed to die. So. Let's see how this turns out.